at 7.30. I uh, was set up in the spot that I found last weekend with all the uh, white oak acres. Um, I brought my stand in that afternoon. Went in and got it on down here and it got set up. Then we got up here yesterday afternoon, planned to hunt. So I come down here, got all my stuff, all my camera arms, everything set up in the tree. And then the bottom fell out. We got soaked. So uh, I didn't get any footage yesterday or did I see anything. I wasn't in stand maybe 30 minutes. At least I got all my stuff set up and I didn't have to worry about that this morning. Um, it's a ways back here. It took me 30 minutes to get here. Well, 30 minutes to, to get, I think it's probably like maybe 20 minutes to walk in, 10 minutes to climb up and get all this stuff set up. But it's a trek back here. Maybe it'd be worth it. There's pl plenty of sign in here. Them acres are dropping like crazy still this morning. Them squirrels are in that tree. They just steadily drop it. Um, but yeah, maybe so. Maybe we'll see something. Got my fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna sit back and uh, see what comes out and I'll get back to y'all in a little bit. It's 10 o'clock. I'll end up seeing three this morning. They're all does. They're down here. Blowing me down the creek a little ways. Um, that's all I saw this morning. And it was about 30 minutes ago. I saw them. It's just been real windy this morning. The wind's been gusting like crazy. And I'm about to on freeze. I ain't got no meat on my bones, so I ain't got no insulation. I should put on another layer. So uh, it's wind cutting me, making me cold. I back can't sit here without darn shaking. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was hoping it was gonna be better than this this morning. This darn wind must have got on where they weren't moving. Hopefully they'll be moving a little bit better this afternoon. I'll be back out here. I'm about to get on down and head to the camp and get me something to eat. My stomach growling like crazy. But yeah. Anyways, I'll see y'all this afternoon. guys we're back out here it's four o'clock just got set up the wind's not as bad as it was this morning it still blowed a little bit but I'm hoping it'll die down before dark the woods have kind of dried out since yesterday when it rained so I should be able to hear a little bit better this this afternoon and in the morning um, these acorns out this white oak tree right here and they're dropping like crazy the ground's covered in them over there I'm hoping maybe them deer will come in here I wanna chow down on them or at least that's my my hopes but uh yeah I'm gonna sit back and see what comes out and uh I'll get back at y'all in a little bit
those three come out and uh, feed on the white oak acorns. And then they got spooky and took off. And then a little while later, I had a, looked like a little yearling come back. And well, she was real spooky too. I was trying to eat that acorns. But I don't know if that was the same deer that was with them. I mean, if that was one of the three. Uh, if it was, then, then I only seen five. Then after that yearling left, I had a uh, come across here in front of me and jumped the creek down there north of me. Um, um, no bugs, but maybe we'll see one in the morning. I, uh, I'm about to get on down and get on out of here. I got a long walk. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's right at 7.30. Back over here again this morning. Hoping maybe old buck will come out and eat on these acorns. The ground over there is just covered in them. Solid green. I had eight solid green, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's in the low 40s this morning. There's a couple wind gusts every now and then, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday morning. Uh, like I said yesterday afternoon, the woods have dried out some since that rain, so. I can hear stuff walking again, so that's gonna be good. Especially down here, because there's a lot of places that deer can get by me. Um, but yeah, my uh, my daddy killed a doe yesterday afternoon. It's the first doe he's killed in 18 years. It's not a lack of not seeing him or anything or nothing like that. He just didn't ever just hadn't had the urge to shoot one. He's just been shooting bucks. Um, he usually kills about two bucks a year. And that's about all the meat him and my mama can handle. Which my mama don't eat it, so it's just all that he can handle. Um, and then another one of our members in our club killed a uh, pretty nice eight point. He had a real big body. A nice set of horns. He's probably like a three and a half year old. That's about the biggest deer he's killed in a while. Mr. D. Bud got him a nice one. Went down there and had to help him track him. When he shot him, he shot him right down there close to him. And he got down, he couldn't find blood. So he uh, asked if we'd go down there. So we went on down there. And one just a second, I found blood. Started tracking him. He was thinking he went down in this deep ravine, but the deer was headed that way to start with. Curve and he turned back and went back the way he came from. Went back in the pines. He didn't run maybe 60 yards at the most. Um, but I'll throw up some pictures of that. I don't know if I've done it already before, but I'll put some pictures of that deer up for y'all to see. But yeah, let's sit back and see what comes out this morning. Hopefully we'll see some bugs. If, if we don't get to shoot one, maybe at least we'll see some. I'll see y'all in a little bit.
All right, guys, it's uh, 10.30. About to get on down and head to the camp. That was a nice deer, wasn't it? He walked across just outside of the range I want to shoot, that I'm comfortable shooting. He come across there about 45 yards. I figured he might have, where he was at, he was kind of right in the same trail that the deer come across yesterday. I figured he... I was hoping he'd jump that creek like he did. As soon as he jumped the creek, he'd turn and come down here right here beside me, and I'd have a perfect shot. But he, he didn't. He turned and went the other way. Uh, but I uh, got some pretty good footage of him, I think. Uh, he was pretty deer, nice tall tines. He wasn't real wide, but he was a nice a nice deer. He was probably three and a half, four year, four and a half year old deer. Uh, pretty deer. But that's just what what you gotta deal with when you're hunting with a bow. If I had my rifle, that son of a gun would have been dead. He'd have been dropped right there. But I don't, so that's just how it goes. He didn't even know I was even out here, so maybe I'll get another chance at him. I'm uh, You can bet I'm gonna be practicing at 45 yards before I come back. But. I could have chanced it, but I didn't want to do that. Uh, and after he left, about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, I had two does come across. They come from the direction where he went, and then they went back out here in these bigger pines. And then maybe 10 minutes later, they come back running out of there and went right back to where they came from. Then, uh... Uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes after that, I had another doe come walking through these big pines. And then she went and then come across right here in front of me where they, all the other deer this morning have crossed and went went to the same spot. Uh, but that's why they call it hunting. It ain't called killing because you don't get them every time. Uh, but, yeah. I reckon that's it for this weekend. But Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm going to be in Doodley County hunting at uh, Flint River WMA. We got picked on that second quota hunt, and it's supposed to be real nice that, during that time. It's supposed to be real cold. And that's the time that the, the bucks are, from what I've heard, the bucks are rutting up there. So I'm really excited about that. and kill a buck and a doe there and they'll tag both of them it's got to be 15 inch inside and 16 inch or 16 inch uh main beams so uh, yeah excited about that well reckon that's it as always i appreciate y'all watching and uh I, I really mean that i appreciate every one of y'all that watches my videos uh makes me Makes me real happy. I uh, I really enjoy doing this, and uh, seeing that y'all like them, enjoy them, and just just waiting. When's the next video? When's the next video? 
it makes me happy. I'm glad that y'all, that I enjoy what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, anyways, I guess I'll see y'all Wednesday. Wednesday we're gonna go up and do a little scouting beforehand. Um, so I'll, hopefully I'll be doing some videoing while I do that, but then I, I know I'll be videoing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So I'll see y'all then. Don't forget to like and subscribe if y'all hadn't already. See y'all next time.